Now to reopening this state. The formula of phases and tiers can be complicated, so on this hour 18, we are breaking it down. We have five phases. Phase one being a total lockdown except essential services, and five being completely open. Right now we are in phase four, and from there it gets a little tricky. Phase four has three tiers, each with different restrictions. So right now we are in tier three, which means indoor dining is banned. People in the western and southern part of the state, they just entered tier two. That has fewer restrictions, but it still does ban indoor dining. We have to get to phase four, tier one, to get indoor dining back. We said this was complicated, right? Well, CBS 2's Stephen Graves reports that it is more than that for restaurant owners. Yeah, the frustration from these restaurant owners over these complicated details only getting worse after mixed messages from top leadership. As a restaurant owner, we still just trying to get open. That's the reaction from Rico Nance as he heard the state mitigations announced today. It sounds okay, but I'm not really understanding. All it meant to him, employees at his restaurant in Hyde Park who rely on indoor dining are still out of work. Because a lot of people that are even in the field have to say, you know what, I got to choose another field. This is no longer stable for me. He got a glimmer of hope yesterday when Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot said earlier this week she's pushing for indoor dining to open as quickly as possible. But today, Governor J.B. Pritzker emphasizing the city's not there yet. Well, I expressed that to the uh, mayor uh, that we can um, you know, move uh, Chicago into lower tiers than tier three sometime soon. But it will all be based upon the metrics that we've laid out. I just want to be clear with everybody. This isn't uh, random decision making. For Chicago to have indoor dining, there needs to be a test positivity rate below 8% for three consecutive days and a decrease in the number of people hospitalized for COVID. Still, even at tier one, indoor dining would be at 25% of the room limit or a maximum of 25 people. Some argue the city's metrics are higher in part because potential customers are gathering at unregulated parties. Allow us to have them in our establishments and allow us to police them. Stephen Hartenstein sits on the board of the Illinois Restaurant Association saying safe indoor dining is possible now. And everybody's got the same concern as far as health and safety, and now we need to think about the employees. The governor does say Chicago is on the right track. Right now, the city's positivity rate is at about 9.6%. Regardless, restaurant owners are pushing to get people inside on a limited basis by the end of the month. Reporting in Hyde Park, Stephen Graves, CBS 2 News. Stephen, thank you. And for a map of restaurants trying to follow the rules by offering heated outdoor dining, you can check out cbschicago.com slash heated eats.